There's rivers. The Shenandoah, Upper Potomac River, um, Upper Potomac River between like Hancock and Harper's Ferry, and then all the way down. Megabass, plus one, and it's the shorter version. This is actually the smaller version of, of the big dog right here. And look at that size difference. All right. The bait that they're usually hitting is a little bit smaller. Okay. It comes with two hooks. The standard ones are fine. I would trade them up for Aaron Martin's uh, finesse treble hooks. We can go down that rabbit hole later time. If you had to pick a color, I'd always go with two. I'd go with sexy shad, which is gives you that little bit more in between clearer and stained water. And I'd also go with a pearl white, something like that. As that water starts to warm up, we're going to get into the crankbaits. Number one crankbait that I would go with is the Rapala Ot Slim. If you can find it, you might have to kill someone to get it. Crayfish patterns, of course. 10 pound fluorocarbon are the old bombers. This is the old bomber crayfish color here. And this will run about four to five feet deep. The other crankbait that I would throw, it's the Eurotech micro crankbait. To give you a size comparison, look at how much smaller that is. The next one here is a Z-Man micro jig. And I pair that up with the TRD, basically D-bomb. Okay, I'll try to hold that right there. You're gonna throw this on stupid light tackle. Okay, like absolutely stupid light. I would suggest 10 pound test on a spinning rod, maybe fluorocarbon to a braided leader. You guys really need to learn how to tie leader knots. Uh, let me know if you want me to help you guys with that in the comment section. But this is the, the Z-Man tiny jig. And it is with the basically the TRD version of the D-bomb. It's super small, but this this jig right here is fantastic. <clears throat> Next date, bait for rivers is this right here. This resembles a baby catfish. You can get these at, at Jake's as well. You can also get them online. These are called Mad Toms. I highly suggest if you are a Shenandoah or Upper Potomac River, Google what a Mad Tom is. It is a tiny catfish that is local to our river systems. It's basically like our version of a goby. Um, you want a bait that kind of mimics this, especially this time of year when the crayfish are not as active. They're feeding more primarily on forage species like the Mad Tom. You can hook this on any type of jig head that you want. I would suggest hooking it a little bit more weedless. The next thing, and the last one for the river, and this is going to be a shocker, is of course we're going back to the Ned Rig. Now, this time of year, I don't like to throw it necessarily on my power head. I'll talk about that power head setup if you want me to, just let me know in the comment section. But you're going to go with a black and blue again. You can go with green pumpkin, but generally, depending on the water clarity, I like going with the black and blue because I think it looks more like larva. You're going to throw that on eight pound test uh, fluorocarbon and you're going to take that to a braid. Let me know in the comment section, like if I missed something, if there's a bait that you would particularly want to throw.